Welcome everyone, this is the review of the original Sony PlayStation 1 console, the fat version. The console that I always wanted when I was a kid, but never had one, just because the times were difficult. Sony PlayStation 1 was first released on the 3rd December 1994 in Japan, then later on on 9th of September 1995 in the United States, and on the 29th of September 1995 in Europe. That's why those uh, consoles are divided into some regions, 0 for Japan, 2 for EU, Australia and Russia, 1 for United States and Canada, and 3 for Asia. Also, I wanted to mention there were models that were revised due to some hardware problems. The very first models had issues with the laser lens rails. They wear out unevenly due to friction and because they were placed close to the power supply and that also increases the wear. Another problem was poorly placed um, air vents that led to overheating that caused plastic moldings inside the console to warp and, and create a knock on the effects with the laser assembly. And then the most common fix was to put the position upside down that makes the lens rest on the unworn rails. But later on Sony fixed the problem by making the die-cast metal slit and um, placing the laser further away from the power supply. Like for example, uh, in my PS, uh, this particular motor is, is um, SCPH5552. So this is a re revised version. Uh, so the laser is placed away from the power supply like here. Now let's talk about um, controllers. This is a Sony PlayStation 1, the original controller. It's very basic, very light, uh, without any dual analog sticks. The earlier version didn't have a, a ferret choke. This one is a lighter version, this one is a heavy one. But there was another version of the controller. Now, so the next one is, is the dual shock controller with the two analog sticks and the Vibra motors that was introduced and replaced by a dual analog uh, controller. Uh, this one has uh, two pair of thumbsticks which was added to the original controller that providing uh, vibration feedback which is uh, based on screen actions and taking place in the game if the game supports it. There was another version of the um, PlayStation 1 controller which is called a dual analog controller. It looks like the very first one, like this one, but it has uh, two analog sticks and it's not DualShock. It was said that it's allowing for more precise and fluid control in the games, and, but later in 1998 it was replaced by an actual uh, DualShock controller. Memory card. Essential thing where to save our game. Well, if you don't have a memory card, then you have to keep your position work 24-7, so you won't lose your game data, otherwise, here's memory card. Next, what we're gonna talk about cables. There is a problem with um, new modern TVs now, that they, do not, they don't have the SCART or those ports um, where to connect them. So you can't really now actually play um, <laughs> old consoles on the new, on the new TVs. You have to use some kind of uh, adapter uh, where you can connect it. Now this one, the, I use it from Sony PlayStation 3 connectors and those cards. One. Luckily, I have one TV that has a scar, so I can play it. Now we're all set 
all connected and ready. We're gonna start from my favorite game, Siphon Filter 2. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Luckily, I have TV that has a skirt. So, we can play. Let's get to it. Pop the hood. Open the box. Grab that CD. Hit it. Boink. I haven't played this game in a very, very long time.
Nice.
think you have to plant a bomb here. Okay. 